Hey gang, guess where I'm at? I'm at the local Barnes & Noble. What do you say we pay him a visit? I really don't have a need for Captain Underpants. Oh look, Tony Bennett has a new album out. Give Paul McCartney some competition. I still don't understand these Funko Pops. Ugh. Ah, the vinyl section. There are some here in 140 gram vinyl. What? I guess you gotta read the labels. Ooh. Psychedelic. Speaking of Egypt Station, I asked for the displayer. And they said it had been tossed in the garbage. I wonder if I'll have to go dumpster diving after this. Vinyl, 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 vinyl. Oh, the Beatles section. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that's in mono. That's the anniversary one, okay. 40 bucks. But see, you got to read the labels to know which is the 2009-2018 one. Hmm. Can be confusing. Really? Who really is going to buy this, huh? Christmas time is here again. No, this one's the 2009 version. This looks like the 2018 version. Okay. Ooh. There's an odd one. Man, talk about scary movie covers. Oh. Clowns are horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. There's a nice little visit to my local Barnes & Noble. And I didn't come away empty-handed. Let's see what I found in there. Found the reduce table. And they had this one. Beetles in their own right. And it's got all sorts of little stories about how all the songs came about. That's kind of interesting. So, if I want to know where Dear Prudence came from, this book will tell me. That's cool. Get a load of this one. This one's huge. This one weighs like 30 pounds. Can you see that? It's the Definitive Illustrated Chronicles of the Beatles. This thing must weigh about 80 pounds. Wow, there's all kinds of pictures in here, and stories, wow, Ugh. this'll keep me busy for a while, for sure, Whew. okay, so I hope you enjoyed my little visit to the Barnes & Noble, take care now, bye-bye.